a screencast on how to clean up text styles in a drawing. As a CAD manager, I frequently receive drawings from clients, and I'm going to type style here at the command prompt, and you'll see in the window here, underneath the styles in the drawing, there are several styles which are not part of our standard. We'll cycle through. EGN01 could be from a microstation file, a line type, dim aerial, F1, standard, style aerial, style working, and this one even has an ignored SHX file. So I'm going to cancel out of there. So what I want to do is take one of my existing templates or title blocks, whatever it may be in a drawing, and bring it up in a drawing. I'm going to type style at the command prompt, and I'm going to check create styles or check all the styles I need for that drawing so I can merge those fonts. And I can keep this for future use. So in here I have Arial, I have one annotative, and a bold and a standard, keeping it simple for this example. So once I have created that, I need to save this to a drawing standards file. So I'm going to do a save as at the command prompt. And then I'm going to pull down in here on your notice right down here, there's AutoCAD drawing standards. You can see that there underneath there. We need to save it to a standards file. So we're going to pull this down, save it to a DWS file, call it base Mac text standards and hit yes. Now we can actually get out of here. It's sort of a template file that contains all the styles you need. Now, now it doesn't necessarily have to be just text. For this example, it was easier to show you. So now what we need to do is under the Manage tab in the ribbon, underneath the CAD standards panel as shown up in here, you have three options. You have the layer translator, you have check and configure. For this purpose, we're just going to configure for the text style. So I'm going to hit configure. And now what we need to do up in here, this plus sign, you see it says add the standards file. I'm going to hit the plus sign. And now I've navigated out to my folder and I'm going to add it. So I opened it. So now you can see it's under here. It last was modified by myself using AutoCAD 2013. The format, the same format. So now I go into the Plugins tab. We have to go to the Plugins tab. Underneath the Plugins tab, you have options. You can check standards for dimension styles, layers, line types, and textiles. For this purpose, what we want to do is uncheck everything except for the textile. And we hit OK. Now we've added it to our drawing. Now we can do check. I could have done it right from this button here, but we'll go back here and check. And we'll watch what happens. So I'm going to hit check. And it says the first textile is standard. What do you want to do with it? I'm going to just hit next since we already have it with, within our drawing. The next style is F1. I'm going to select Arial. So it'll show you the current value is a Romans at 0.2. It's going to change it to a new one called Arial. I'm going to fix it. Style Arial. I'm going to select it. I'm going to fix it. Style Working. We'll change this to just a standard font. And it'll show you the properties down in the preview of the changes. I'm going to fix it. Dimension Arial. Just going to change that one to Arial. You see the current value is a little different. Fix it. DGN01, we're just going to change to standard, and it's a simplex font. I'm going to fix it. And this is where it comes in. It says you found six problems. You fixed automatically. You can run an automatic fix, but you fixed manually. And you can ignore, as a CAD manager, you can ignore some instances. You may have drawings where you need to keep some of those styles for client needs. Now if I type style in my drawing, You'll notice that I only have two styles in there, which are part of our standard. The reason the other ones didn't come in, we didn't convert to any of that format, but we removed all the unnecessary styles that were in the base map drawing. So that's how you use the CAD Standards Manager for cleaning up stock textiles. It's a very convenient way to clean up your base map and keep things organized and managed as you move forward working in Autodesk AutoCAD.